Gamlet Review. Everything you need to know to host, secure, and stream videos in minutes. Hey guys, welcome to a brand new review of Gumlet where we'll dive into the features of Gumlet pricing and much more. So let's get into it. Gumlet is the easiest platform to host, secure, and stream videos on the internet. You can start streaming to millions within minutes. It will allow you to create your own account. You can check out the pricing and much more after watching this video. So signing up process is going to be really easy. You can go to gumlet.com and you will land on this website. After getting here, you're going to click on sign up or login. You can sign up using your Google account or your email address. After the initial sign up, this is where you will get. This is our dashboard of Gumlet. In our dashboard, we will be able to find the options such as video. In here, within the video, I will be able to find all my videos. I can import the videos. I can add analytics. I can check analytics and I can also check the advanced settings here, such as reports, collections, profiles, and more. We also get the video analytic option where we can get our dashboard, paybacks, and properties. Within images, you'll be able to add your sources. You can add analytics and monitoring. Then we have organization, and this is where I can deal with billing, manage users, webhooks, and more. With Gumlet, you will be able to upload your first video and you will be able to do different settings using that video. You can also customize the video player. You can modify the behavior and control of your video. Similarly, you can enable the DRM for your videos that will allow you to improve your uh, video protection and privacy. At this side, you can see we have video and it will show me my streaming history it will show me the metrics where I can see the hours, the transcoding, the streaming and more. Now, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to bottom here and you'll be able to see create source. It will allow me to create an image source. Now, this is very interesting that we can select any kind of source type here. You can actually get and import uh, your images from WordPress, web holders, Amazon, Digital Ocean, uh, Google Cloud Storage, any website that you have. When you're signing up, you can actually do these uh, a bit of settings that, for example, what you will be doing with Gumlet, like if you want to uh, use it for your website, if you want to use it for your e-commerce, if you want to use it for your channel. So you're going to actually select some of these settings and you can also change your settings anytime under user here. You can go to user profile. This is where you can edit a lot of things and customize your gumlet right here. When it comes to the video, I will show you the video library here. It's very easy to import and add a new video. Go to video library, click on new video, and now I can add and drop a video from my device, Dropbox, OneDrive, Link, Google Drive, and more. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna quickly add a video from my device, and there you go. Now you can see that I have a video being uploaded here. We also have a sample video, so maybe we can work on this one. What we'll do is we're going to click on this button and we can change the name. I'm going to call it sample video one. So I will be able to differentiate. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the video and it will open it up. There you go. Now you can see this is our video at the bottom here. I will be able to see the views watch time description and tags and playlists I can add it right here so uh, I can add a description to my video very easily for example whatever you want to write and we can also add some tags now tags are very important when it comes to streaming or if you kind of like a uh, deal in one niche so we can add different tags right here you can also select a playlist and you can create multiple playlists within gumlet once you're done with the changes, you're going to click on save changes and you will be able to see your description will be added here. Now I can see the status and you can see it says ready. It will give you some other details. We can go to file detail and this is where I can find my size resolution and I can edit everything here. Then we have metadata. Now I want you to look at this side of the screen. This is an important panel given here. We can find subtitles and captions here and you can see I can add Spanish in different languages. So we have Spanish, English right here. So I'm going to actually uh, add some other languages. For example, I want to add 
in Chinese maybe. Okay, I'm going to select Chinese and click on save. So now I can actually select the file from here and I can upload. Similarly, I can add different captions and subtitles and it will show you uh, the subtitle and captions right here with the timing. I'm going to hit save. Similarly, I can see thumbnail. This is where I can add an image as a thumbnail. Of course, we can upload from device or select from the video itself as well. Then we have our video chapters right here. Now, this is where I can create different chapters to the video, you know, uh, different topics and different parts of the video. You might have seen this one on different platforms such as YouTube as well, where you can add, uh, you know, different sections. So this one is really good and it kind of like helps the user to go to their favorite part. Then we can add call to action. This one is also going to be an important options option right here. You can add multiple CDAs to the video, customize your CDAs in this video. So I'm going to click on add a call to action and now I can add a label, URL, start time and end time. So with Gumlet, the customization is so good that it kind of like saves a lot of time and money when it comes to the, the different editing software. So you are actually saving a lot of time here that you don't have to edit these things such as adding call to action or adding subtitles or thumbnail or creating thumbnails from different uh, softwares or platforms. So this is actually really good. Then we have video privacy. Now here you can select the privacy of course if you want it public or private. Then we have the download options. This will allow you to download your video. Whatever settings you want to do you can select from here. You can check from here and download. And then we have action. Now this is just so that uh, you can um, delete this video if you don't like it. So this, these are some of the video settings that you can do within Gumlet. Similarly, I can import the videos directly from my different platforms. If I have already created a video, if you work with a team, you can import right here. And then we can go to the video analytics. Now, this is going to be your dashboard for your videos. You, can, you will be able to see the total views here, playtime, uh, unique views, completion, and much more. So working with Gumlet is actually very easy. I would say it's very beginner friendly. It allows you to customize your video. It allows you to modify your video very well. It will help you create your first video within minutes and you can actually post uh, the, the online videos, the, the streaming and much more. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at the pricing plan for Gumlet so you have an idea about the affordability of this platform. This is the pricing plan for Gumlet. You're going to select video or image. I'm going to go with video. You can see you can get started for free. With the free version, you'll be getting a 250 GB bandwidth, 100 storage minutes, and much more. There is a starter plan for just $10 per month built monthly. There is a growth for $40 per month built monthly and business for $199 per month. With the growth plan, which is the most popular, you'll be getting five users, 4,000 storage minutes, two dB bandwidth, and much more. We can also check out the image. So for the image, the growth plan, uh, there is a free plan available. Of course, there is a growth plan for $32 per month. There is a business uh, plan for $199 per month and enterprise that you can uh, customize. So the video plan is actually quite cheaper, very simple and transparent pricing that you will be getting with Gumlet. You can check all the features right here. You can check out gumlet.com. Other than the dashboard, if I show you some more features that you will be getting with Gumlet, you will be getting image optimization, video hosting, video API, video analytics, and dual DRM. And there is also an AI available now. We know that how easy it gets. With the video, of course, you'll be getting video CMS, video production, player customization, video streaming, transcoding, thumbnails and chapters that I showed you, subtitles and multi-audio, video embed and URLs, and video settings that are very professional. With the image right here, you'll be getting image compression, very good. We will be getting responsive resizing, format conversion, image operations, easy integration, and WordPress as well. So this will allow you to integrate images from your website in one minute. Using Gumlet is very easy and it will allow you to start streaming within seconds in just a few 
clicks. This brings us to the end of the video. I hope this video was a big help to you and now you know how to use Gumlet and what are some features that will be helpful to you. If you like this video, give this video a big thumbs up, leave a comment down below and don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel.